Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, April 4th. I'm James Spann. Cool, wet, damp weather today, but the weekend looks great. And next week, the potential for some severe weather problems here. So a lot on the plate, as always. So let's get in there and discuss things. We'll start with some of the Skycam images around the great state of Alabama early this morning at 5 o'clock. Little rain falling in Trussville on Chalkville Mountain Road. It's a cool morning. Temperatures are in the upper 40s in many spots. Here's a look at downtown Jasper. They've got light rain and very similar scene coming from Cullman. Light rain falling there as well. Big old trough coming in from the west. Very impressive dynamic forcing. Thankfully, we are not in the warm sector of this storm. We are in the cool, stable air. Numbers, upper 40s and low 50s. For the most uh, part, the uh, cool spots up in northwest Alabama, 44 for Haleyville and the Shoals. Here's the big picture at 5 o'clock this morning. We've got, uh, look at the snow, by the way, the, the little wintry mix back in parts of Oklahoma. It is uh, cold and nasty out there. Heavy rain into Arkansas, and that uh, will be rotating in here later today. So cloudy, rain at times. We won't get past the mid-50s. Now, the warm sector of the storm, of course, is down in Florida, especially the uh, peninsula, and they've got the uh, standard slight risk of severe weather there. That doesn't technically include Dothan, Alabama, but really I think the greatest chance of severe weather today along and south of Interstate 10. And there could be a few tornadoes uh, down there. So our friends in uh, Tampa Bay, Daytona, Orlando, Miami, Fort Myers, everybody down there will have to watch the weather carefully. Tomorrow, a risk for the southern tip of Florida. That are in Miami and Fort Lauderdale. And then in the day four through eight outlook, the guys have put day five up now for parts of Kansas and Oklahoma in advance of that new system that could very well bring us a chance of severe weather later in the week. And of course, uh, you know, it's a week out. It can't be specific, but We'll talk about that as we go through the modeling here. And this is the rain for the next seven days. This carries us through Thursday morning of next week. And the big numbers are showing up over the heartland out there with uh, thunderstorms. And, of course, in addition to heavy rain, there could be some severe weather as well. All right, this is the GFS, the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock local time today. Pretty impressive trough coming through the southern branch. And down below that at uh, midday, the surface low should be near Panama City Beach. And, of course, any severe weather uh, east and southeast of that surface low up here, just cloudy, cool, wet, kind of a miserable day. Really a lot like yesterday. Uh, additional rain amounts, probably about one half inch, and we should not get past the mid-50s. Tomorrow, though, the sky begins to clear. Uh, in fact, the, uh, uh, the clearing might happen by midday or maybe even late morning. In some spots, it might take the afternoon, but uh, certainly a day with clearing as the surface low moves northeast. We should be warmer. Highs getting back in the mid-60s, still below average. We're having a hard time getting above average days here. Haven't had many of them in a long time. But Saturday looks good as we start the weekend. The NAM and the GFS are at 75. The sky should be bright and sunny. Now, we start the day down around 40. It's going to be a cool morning, but we warm up in a heartbeat. And really early Saturday, maybe up in the northeastern corner, Valley Head, places like that, there might be a touch of light frost. But that is the exception rather than the rule. For most everybody, uh, you'll be in the 40s Saturday morning. Sunday looks good. Uh, again, uh, mid-70s likely. The GFS is 76 with a sunny sky. Monday of next week, we'll be watching that 997 millibar load that's on the plains of Colorado. Moisture starts to increase here. The day should be dry and a pretty good chance we see 80. How about that for the warm fans? All right, this is uh, Tuesday of next week. There's your big trough in the west. Down below that, you've kind of got a dual surface low structure, one moving up towards Chicago, another one back over the uh, uh, over the Rockies. And again, we'll stay dry on Tuesday and warm. We'll be around 80. Uh, there's Wednesday. A new surface low is developing around uh, Tyler and Longview, Texas. Thunderstorms around Memphis. Then we'll go to Thursday of next week. Uh, very impressive trough. Excellent dynamic forcing. It's not negative tilt, though. It's positive tilt. And uh, down below that, the surface low is near Cincinnati with a batch of showers and storms coming through. 
this is kind of hinting that the main uh, chance of any strong to severe storms would be late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. I hate those overnight things, but we sure get them a lot here. Uh, let's peek at some of the numbers. And again, please don't take these to the bank uh, because we're a week out and we all know that you just can't identify convective parameters a week in advance. This is the lifted index or the instability values valid at uh, 7 a.m. Thursday. And you can see a very good tongue of instability coming up to uh, southern Indiana uh, with a surface low that's up there uh, around Paducah, Kentucky, early Thursday morning. And the uh, winds are strong. This is a look at the wind field at 850 millibars or the low-level jet. Uh, 60 knot winds in there, and the wind shear values are very high. This is the uh, bulk shear between the surface and 850 millibars. So clearly, you know, there's going to be the chance of strong to severe storms. I think that's a given. The magnitude, the modes of severe weather, the placement, the timing, you just can't go there yet. You know, all these, you can see all this rampant speculation from some of these boneheads on the Internet. Nobody knows now. There's no, no point in even trying. Just something to watch, and we can be much more specific uh, uh, late this weekend and early next week. The end of the forecast, this is the uh, 19th of April. Surface low way up there over James Bay in Canada. A little batch of showers coming in here, but that would not be a severe weather look if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If time allows, I've got a remote. We're programming weather radios today at the Publix out in the McCalla bessemer area near McAdory High School. One way or the other, we'll have a discussion up on the blog this afternoon. And if you can, watch us on uh, TV or the live stream this evening, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. And if you do need help with the weather radio, come see us out at the Publix in uh, McCalla bessemer right by McAdory High School. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at BigBrainsMedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day.